weekly raid on haul. I'm sorry that I'm only putting out one video a week. I think I'm going to start vlogging again with me and Connor. And then, I don't know. Uh, it's just been a wild couple of weeks just to kind of address it because I feel like now I can. I got laid off from my job a couple, well, it was like last week. Um, so that was pretty traumatic. Also, if you hear anything in the background, Connor's doing laundry. Yeah, I got laid off from my job and I was completely devastated from it. Some people, I, I kind of posted about it on my Instagram uh, story. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I will link it right here. Um, but yeah, I was really depressed about it. Um, kind of anticipated it. I just didn't think it was going to happen so quickly. Uh, but I did get a new job. I actually start tomorrow. So that's awesome. Uh, it's just hard saying bye to everybody because they've literally been my family for three years now. Um, and I loved my job. I was good at what I did. So it was just, it was a really, really bad last like week and a half. So that's why I kind of really haven't been in the mood to done hunt. Um, but my nose is just per usual. Um, but I did pick up some things this week. Honestly, there hasn't been that much at least in Vegas from what I see, but I haven't really been wanting to go to a lot of openings just because my mood's just been shot. Uh, and we do have friends in from Moe, so we got we got a lot going on. So it's Dunn's been kind of taking the back seat for a little bit. But I did have a job interview on Monday and I picked up one of my unicorns, so I was super excited about that. So I'm gonna probably save that for one of the last items. I'm done rambling. So if you wanna see what I picked up this week while done hunting, then just go ahead and keep on watching. The oven's ready for pizza. The first item I am going to start with is a, another clock. Uh, I picked it up because I really liked it, but I actually think I might return it, but I just wanted to show you guys just in case. It is this, I thought it was really cool. Um, and it says TikTok on it and it's got the little guy right here the hand and arm our laundry is super loud so i did pick this up but i actually think i'm going to return it i'm not a fan of it anymore and i know i just picked a clock up last week but i ended up trading it um so yeah i picked that one up for myself but i'm not i don't really like it i don't think i'm going to keep a clock to be honest it doesn't really go with the whole theme of my place i guess uh, then the next thing I really don't need, I picked it up because I haven't seen them yet, and I have multiple versions of these uh, that I felt like I needed them, even though I don't need them. So they are the cream <laughs> and the shoe bar. So I have pour, pour and scoop of these, and I just don't need them. It's literally the exact same thing, just different wording, but... I had to get it because there was nothing out this week so I was like I don't have that so I'm gonna get it uh, it's not really a good mentality but I picked it up anyways the next thing that I picked up I'm going to try and use for a trade because I don't like this style but I feel like somebody would and it is a teapot but it has the icon on it um, I was actually surprised to find this it was just kind of sitting all by its lonesome but found this. I'm hoping that I can use it for a trade. If not, then I will be returning it. Um, I love to get one that says like, what is it? Stout? What is it? I don't know. I can't remember what the other ones say. Or even like the new teapot. I'd love to find one of those. One of the girls in, um, in the city did find one. Um, but yeah, I found this as well. I just, I'm not a huge fan of the icon, but I picked it up hopefully to trade. The last three items are the most exciting. So one of my subscribers, her name is Vanessa, she follows me on Instagram. She had found this for me and uh, uh, I've obviously paid for it and then she sent it to me. So I was super excited to find this, or she found it for me. But I was super excited to get it and it is the white sellers. And I do have the black and white ones down here. Uh, I'm not going to be getting rid of any of them because, you know, the more the merrier in my opinion. But I love the all white, so I was so excited that she found these and she was able to send them to me. So thank you very much, Vanessa. I really, really appreciate it. And then, I don't know which one I want to show you guys first. So the next thing I got is a Rest Birdhouse. I love this guy. At first I wasn't a huge fan, but I feel like Birdhouse season is really just kind of hitting us all hard. I haven't really been able to find them in Vegas. I did get this off of Mercari because I found a decently reasonable price. Birdhouses really aren't 
all that expensive on Mercari anymore because there's just been so many lately. I'm not a huge fan of the icons. I'm more like a long letter girl. Um, so these, the teardrop, ball sack, saggy boob, birdhouse, they're kind of not that expensive anymore on Mercari, so I did go ahead and pick this up. So I got this guy. Let me know in the comments below which birdhouse you're hoping to find the most. I know like the Homeland birdhouse is everyone's unicorn right now, and honestly guys, I'm not a huge fan. I'm not for it. I know everybody has their own like opinions about it, and everyone wants it. I It's not for me. I want to know if you guys genuinely like it, or if it's just a unicorn that you can just use for trading pieces. I need to know because I just, I don't find it adorable at all. Uh, so I'm just curious what you guys thought. So the last item, when I walked into TJ, so I'm going to be working right next to a TJ Maxx, which is going to be great. So I'm hoping that I can go to openings like every day during the week. Um, but yeah, so yeah. when I, okay. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, when I went for my interview, I was thinking to myself, okay, if I find something, something good, I was really hoping for a birdhouse, obviously, but I was like, if I find something good, it means I'm going to get the job. I'm kind of superstitious when it comes to that. I know it's kind of weird. Not everybody's like that, but I'm kind of like that. So when I walk in, I saw this and I was like, okay, this is going to be great. The interview is going to go out and sure shit, it did. And I'm so excited about this, guys. So excited. And it is the sweet tea pitcher. So this was a unicorn for me for the longest time. And I was so excited to find this, especially given the circumstances. I really needed like a sign and that's exactly what it was. So this I probably will never ever ever treat in my entire life because I feel like it means something really special to me. I know I'm kind of weird, but I was so happy to get this. All right guys, and that's everything. I know it was really short, again, not a lot is coming around in Vegas, at least from what I see. But then again, I'm not going to openings because didn't really have the the mood to do so. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. What's what's a chicken's favorite shoe brand? Reebok. Connor's that joke for the week, so if you liked it, thumbs up for that terrible joke because I thought it was stupid. But yeah, anyways. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you're here telling it to everyone. I am. I yeah. thought it was kind of funny, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and I've already ended the video. Bye, guys. <laughs>